Hey guys, Chris Sayre and welcome to Oslo Motor Show and in this video I'm going to show you guys this car we have behind it which is the Polestar Concept BST. It may look like a Polestar 6 but Polestar told me that it actually isn't. This is not anything that is going into production. This is a pure concept to showcase their motorsport pedigree. Polestar started as a racing team and this is going to show case that. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a full tour of this on the exterior and on the interior. I just want to ask you guys a very small favor before we set off this test and that is subscribing to the channel. It takes you about a second and it's completely free but it helps me out a lot a whole bunch because the car manufacturers when they look at who they invite to events to early drives and to premieres they look at the subscriber count so the more subscribers i have the more tests like this i'm going to be able to do in the, the future and i really want to try to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of this month by the end of october and if i do that i'm going to be able to go on a big road trip somewhere in europe maybe i want to go to the la auto show and test a whole bunch of cars in California. So I just want to ask you guys for that small favor, please hit that subscribe button down below because more than 80% of you watching these videos on a consistent basis aren't subscribed. So thank you very much. Thank you so very much for watching and thank you for the support. So as you guys can see, this looks like a Polestar 6. And if you come closer, you can see that it maybe looks like a crazy version of the Polestar 6 with a lot of aero bits down here. You also have these crazy wheels. You have, you know, the dual blade headlight design as you first saw with the Polestar Precept or the Polestar 5 concept. And, you know, the motorsport pedigree from Polestar goes way back far. And they were actually bought by Volvo back in, I think, like 2015. Uh, because they were a racing team racing Volvos and a lot of the people at Polestar do have this motorsport background. So this chassis or the platform here, the Polestar performance platform made out of bonded aluminum. So if you walk around here, you can see that there's actually badging here on the side, Polestar Concept BSD, aluminum unibody concept, and it's actually bonded or glued and that makes it very stiff, but also being able to keep it lightweight. You have, you know, the uh, Brembo brakes, as usual, in Swedish gold. And you also have these camera mirrors, which look kind of sleek, but I hate camera mirrors. So, you know, of course, things on this car, this is, you know, it's just a pure concept. So it doesn't have functional aero, but I'm pretty sure that it is, you know, based on aero that they have used in their racing. It has some crazy spoilers and some crazy aero. This front splitter here, which actually split in two. But, you know, this is not functional aero but it does look pretty crazy and i'm pretty sure you know this though it looks very stylish it's actually you know based on functioning parts that have, they've used in racing so if we all go over to this side also and you move around here you can see you know that this is a pretty striking and cool design it's done in racing silver and you also have you know the bst uh, sticker there and you have this you know really cool raking rare which, you know, this is a roof because, you know, this is a Roadster. Really chunky rear wheels. These are Pirelli uh, p Sierra electric tires, you know, with uh, this cool uh, uh, white walls. And these are 295s in the rear. And you can see that the stance is just completely insane. If you come over here, you can see that, you know, <laughs> the wheel actually sticks out. This again, I think this is just, you know, these are some slicks. This is just for, for concept and for showing. And then we have this crazy, crazy wing. This does look, you know, like a, um, like a hy hydraulic ram, but you know, this is just, it's, it's, it's just all for show. It's just all for show. But if it were, you know, this could be adjusted, this crazy, crazy, like a swan, swan uh, neck wing, because it's like a swan neck, you know, it, it, it connects to the top. And if you walk around here, you can see that this has this crazy light bar design we first saw with the Polestar Precept or the Polestar 5. I think it looks pretty insane. And you can also see, if you look over here at the Polestar 4, that headlight or rear taillight design has moved over to this. So, you know, what Polestar have done with their concepts really moves over to production vehicles, and, you know, this is pretty cool. You have this uh, 3D Polestar logo here. And I think like from the rear, this does look really, really awesome. You can see again, you know, that crazy, crazy wing. You know, the way it, you know, also mirrors. This is pretty cool. The way this mirrors, 
this. That is pretty insane. And then you have, you know, this crazy diffuser with that center brake light, just like you have in racing and in Formula One. There's also even like a mock-up rear, uh, rear view camera here. And I think from this angle, like if you saw this on the road, this is crazy, very, very crazy. And then lastly, on the rear view, come over here. You can just see, you know, how that rear diffuser wraps around here and exposes that rear wheel. I think that is sick. That looks so cool. And also from this angle, you can see that's this side skirt. I mean, it is, it is pretty insane. And it says here, smart zone, side detection sensor. So that is pretty cool. So is this like where they're gonna hide like, you know, cameras and other sensors instead of having it in the, the mirror? You know, instead of, instead of other cars like the Polestar 4 over there, having cameras here and there and there, hiding it like in a panel there. So from this angle, this looks so cool. And you can see how low it is. Like I'm towering over this car. You have all these, you know, these, these air vents up top here with this cool graphic here, the cool Swedish gold and you know, the matte and, uh, and the glossy. You know, Polestar do design really well. I just love, you know, this, this V shape, this U shape up here. It looks pretty, pretty cool. And also if we walk over here, we can take a look at the interior. So take a look at this guys. So we had a steering wheel here, which looks like to be the same steering wheel out of the Polestar Precept, but it's just more square. Again, this is just a mock-up, you know, but you have, you know, the switch gear from other Polestars. You have this, this screen here. We've also seen in the Polestar 3 and in the Polestar 4. And I think this just looks pretty, pretty awesome. You also have a big screen over there that looks to be the same screen as we've seen in the Polestar 3, which is 14 and a half inches. And you also have, you know, the same center console design with the volume knob over there. You know, carrying pretty much of that, you know, design language you know, in the, this, in the dashboard and, and, and a top air. But you have this really, really cool seat. Again, we're not allowed to <laughs> hop in here, but we're allowed to touch it. So you have a four harness uh, seat belt here in Swedish gold. That is pretty cool. Polestar Goodwood. So, you know, this is this car, the Polestar 6, I mean, and this uh, Polestar 5 were shown at Goodwood because Goodwood or England is where, you know, this chassis, this new platform is developed by the Polestar division in the UK. Those are the guys with the most experience with motorsport. And it's pretty cool, you know, showing the cars at Goodwood, which is pretty much, you know, the festival of speed, which is what it's called. So, you know, beautiful materials here. Those rear seats look to be pretty, pretty small. I think even my camera lady, Louisa, I don't think you'll fit there, right? <laughs> no, she's not very tall, but I mean, that's, oh, that's cool. That's like, it looks like carbon fiber also. But like, this is just plastic. This is just plastic to show. And also here, the, these buckets there, this is all plastic, but this, this is leather. Are these, uh, these are sun visors, but we, we can't, oh, maybe this is like aero bits for, yeah, I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna touch that. So, you know, all of this is like, like a show car. I went to Polestar Design Studio, you know, late summer. I haven't dropped that video yet because I've been so crazy busy traveling everywhere. You guys who have been following the channel know that I've been so many, different places lately and that is thanks to you guys and we're really trying to hit that 50,000 subscriber mark before the end of October which is in a few days and we're so close we're like a few hundred subscribers away so guys I'm going to ask you for a favor a small favor that takes you about a second but it's completely free and that is hitting that subscribe button down below because more than 80 percent of you guys watching on a consistent basis aren't subscribed and the more subscribers I get, the more, you know, cars like this I'm allowed to show, more launches I'm allowed to go to, and you know, like the Taycan 1111 kilometer race, more events like that I'm allowed to go to. So please hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, guys, so that was my tour of this, the Polestar Concept BST. It's really cool to see what Polestar have for the future, and hopefully, they were saying, hinting to, maybe we will see this type of treatment on something like this, which is the Polestar 4. I think the Polestar 4 in this spec looks pretty spectacular and awesome. And hopefully I'm going to get a new press car with all of these software grimblings updated and fixed, you know, the things we had issues with, with the car I had on loan like a month ago. So it would be really cool to see this treatment to something like that, but it's really cool to see the direction of Polestar, that they are ambitious and they want to lean more into their motorsport heritage. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys today and goodbye.